At least Sweden is here to be a deterrent to Muscovy. Sweden is 100% a deterrent to Muscovy. Like, most of Sweden's goals are related to Muscovy. Mordred, real quick. Yeah. Uh, I know there's a rule of you know, let it declare and call in an, an AFK nation. Yeah. But uh, Poland wanted to declare on Livonia at the very start. Seeing as he's not here, I'm going to do it for him and give him it. Give him hit. Hit. Uh, okay. Workers. Yeah, I'll allow that. Alrighty. Or you Thank can you. declare it yourself and then... I know oh, that would be selling, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'll allow yeah, that. I'll, I'll allow that. I'll declare and give it to him because it's a tiny war. Yeah, I'll allow it. Like, I can 1v everyone. Yep. Yeah, because Hungary is not protected, it's basically free real estate. So it's it's going to be interesting who tries to gobble it up. I mean, Hungary being a player already screwed up Austria because then don't get the Austro-Hungarian alliance anymore. So Austria is already weakened. Plus, we don't have an HRE anymore, so Austria is even further weakened. And now Hungary, after two, well, three sessions, is now really up for grabs. That weakens Austria even more because this is territory that Austria could have had. Can Austria still do the PU? I don't think so. He's allied to Hungary. Oh, maybe he can. Wait, I was going to check the decisions. Kazan. Do, 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 do. Decisions. Reform Golden Horde. Restore Mongol Empire. Yeah, they can actually. Fair enough. I'm guessing that's any of the hordes. Hello. Real quick. Uh, because Poland AI was dumb and sold Bohemia land. Actually, no, that doesn't make sense. Anyway. Poland AI sold Bohemia land, but apparently Poland, just telling you because, you know, uh, is 936 in debt. <laughs> That's... So he won't join. Oh well. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how that happened. You can theorize on game theories. I'm guessing mercenaries. I would be right. Lots and lots of mercenaries. So clearly the AI thought that Poland didn't have a big enough army, probably to keep Lithuania loyal. So, marked up, big time. And because they had no manpower, they couldn't get a regular army. Now, I'm wondering if any damage was done to France, with France not being here from the start. He was in voice chat, he should have been. No, doesn't look like it. Unless he just disconnected, which is possible. Depends because Austria can expand more because no HRE aggressive expansion. That's true. We could see an aggressive ex uh, Austria, which is again one of the reasons why it's a little annoying that Bohemia and Austria were not here last session is because they could have been doing that too. Like Trier and Cologne and also Saxony, to be fair to him, did that last time. They've both, all three of them expanded a fair amount. Brandenburg slapped Saxony down, so Saxony is a lot weaker than they should be. But Bohemia and Austria could have grown a lot more. Like Bohemia actually has... They gobbled up Silesia, which is a big addition, and Brandenburg has actually been feeding Bohemia, but Austria has not been as lucky. At least the Arabian AI here isn't spicing things up like last session, that's true. Yeah, we shall see if we have an aggressive AI player again. Shash is quite large. I'm just wondering who else the uh, Oman player is going to need to worry about. Timurids, obviously. Who owns Hormuz? Oman already does. And then we are on the outskirts of India. Although it's going to take a while for the European players to get there. Like I said, I think this session is going to be the beginning of colonialism. Uh, it doesn't look like Mexico has been united at all. Incas are not going. North American states are actually kind of clustered in this area. Sometimes you see some of these guys, like Algonquin and Micmac, over on the side. Sometimes you even see them in Newfoundland, but right now they are very much clustered in this region. And then we have the Great Plains natives, the Sierra Nevada natives, and then the Californians. Mexico never unites by the AI. Oh, I've seen them unite. Inca usually happens, and I've definitely seen um, Maya or Aztec unite this stuff. Or sometimes from the smaller ones, like I've seen Itza do extremely well. They very frequently do well. Aztec or Tlaxcala 
Tarascan, uh, Chikimeka. I've seen all of those like grow quite large, but it's usually not this early. I think it does take them a while because of the way the uh, native reforms work. Could put an African player nation in. African nations are available. Mali, Congo. Right, I'm going to have to look at my list now. So basically at the bottom of the goals list are the available nations. So it's Bavaria, Mali, Congo, Kilwan, Lithuania. So I'm going to remove Lithuania after this session, I think. I don't think I've ever seen a native AI do a full reform. One of these days I'm actually going to have to play as one of those natives so I can see how the reform system works. Like, I know how it works for the North Americans, but I don't know about the Central. I've never played as one. How are things going for everyone else? Muscovy being fairly quiet at the moment. I wonder if Muscovy is worried about Sweden. Uh, Sweden's here, right? Sweden is here. So I think Sweden wasn't here last week, if memory serves. Then we've got England beating up Brabant, though it does look like Ulster came in and stole a piece. Oh, that's England. Oh, that's occupied by Burgundy. AI Burgundy on the resurgence. Allied to Provence. Has Hungary been split? Yeah. Transylvania. Truth of Hungary, that's just rebels. That was not from a player war, or that was not because of player intervention, that's just rebels. Interesting. Meanwhile, the Ottomans continue to roll into the Mamluk territories. I wonder if they're losing any stuff from this. I mean, they are definitely losing manpower. There's a lot of attrition to be suffered here. And Granada has now fallen. Doesn't look like there's any hostility down here. I mean, there are still a couple of Moroccan provinces up for grabs. Tunis is a player. Tunis is not here at the moment, but Tunis is also having rebel problems. This latest patch, the AI has been really bad at fighting rebels. Like, rebels are a lot stronger against the AI than they need to be at the moment. Which is a bit of a shame. Is there a reason Brittany hasn't been gobbled up? They were allied to Austria, but clearly Austria has cancelled that alliance. Probably on demand of France. And one other thing which was mentioned to me between sessions which I had not picked up on is if we go to the region map mode we can see that this is South Germany both of these provinces and one of the German miners goals is to keep foreign great powers out of North or South Germany France is a great power they are in Germany therefore the miners have actually lost their free goal so the German miners started with one goal complete nobody else did that was like okay you're a small country so I'm going to give you a very slight bonus. Uh, but they've lost it because France is now here. And that is almost certainly because Brandenburg killed the HRE. So I do wonder if there's some kind of agreement between Brandenburg and France at the moment. Whether that agreement will last, I don't know. But um, Brandenburg is certainly not doing much to stop French expansion. And France expanding into Germany too much is definitely going to be cause for concern for multiple players. Maya needs 20 territory and can pass a reform, releasing down to 10 plus 2 pre-reform. Haha. Want to do a co-op with me as Cusco and someone else as Aztec or Maya to see how much pain we can inflict on the Europeans? I've often wondered how that would work. Like, if I ever did a community multiplayer with a bunch of um, players in North America, I'd probably have, like, three or four in Europe, so a Castile, a France, an England, and probably a Holland... And then just see how they fare against the natives if the natives are actually played by players. The downside to that is I'm pretty sure the players would just take a colonist from the very, very start. And the whole of North America would just be colonized by the natives. That's what's kind of slowing me down or stopping me from doing that. So Amon has successfully gobbled up all the neighbors around them. How is the aggressive expansion situation? It's not actually terrible. They've taken a lot less from that than I thought they would. I wonder if that's because they are a Bardi. Do a Bardi take less aggressive expansion if they fight other Muslims? And how much of this is actually Islamic? I mean, there are bits of Coptic down here. Coptic? Oh, yeah, of course. Ethiopia's Coptic. I was thinking that was Orthodox for some reason. I was like, why is Orthodox down here? No, it's Coptic. Okay, Coptic I understand.
It's very costly to colonize. You need to get really big to be able to afford to colonize as a native. I've done it. I played a game as Micmac, which is these guys. And the cool thing about Micmac is you start right up here, so you can take Hochelaga, which is the center of trade, and then you can make a bunch of money from trade, and then settle, and then build up this whole area. I mean, early on you are blipping around trying to get the uh, free monarch power from migrating, but it's, it's fairly easy to settle. Huron's got a couple of territories. Iroquois have got a couple. It looks like all of the others are still migratory. I oh, know, Shawnee aren't. Creek and Cherokee. Chickasaw, Chokotor. There's a couple of settled natives. Not a huge number, but a few. The Ottomans making Syria. Yeah, the Ottomans do love their vassal swarms. That is definitely a Helsin speciality. How many does he have now? Actually, if we go to the diplomatic map mode, we should be able to see this more easily. Just Syria at the moment. Yeah, just Syria. Why is there a free Corsica? Um, because it's not free. It's owned by Venice. It was formerly owned by Genoa, but Genoa did get beaten up a bit. And I think it was actually rebels. Rebels spawned in Corsica, split out, and then Venice must have grabbed Corsica. No, Florence grabbed Corsica and then sold it to Venice. That's what happened. Because Florence didn't want to have any territories which were outside of, like, mainland Italy, I think. And then Sardinia is independent because Aragon really got stomped. So Aragon had to release Naples because he didn't want to deal with a player nation. Then Sicily broke away due to rebellion, which Florence grabbed, and there's still a little bit of Sicily available. And Malta was grabbed by Naples. And then Sardinia also split away through rebels. Huzzah! Scapa, thank you very much for the resubscription. 15 months, that's mental. I'm supposed to be doing garden stuff in sweltering heat. Good thing I have to renew this thing, and it takes ages. Oh, it's, it's such a chore, Scapa. I, I think you should probably sit down, have a nice cold glass of water or something, you know, just to make sure you don't overheat or anything while you're going through the very, very difficult task of resubscribing. Thank you very much for that. Is Palermo Florence? Palermo is Florence, yes. And the other thing is, one of Val's goals is to dev up to 100. Has he started that yet? Florence is now a 33, but I feel like it starts as a 33. Like, Milan is the easier territory to dev up because it's farmland. Hello. Hey, uh, I don't... Look at look at the damn coalition mode for France. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> they rivaled the Ottomans, which were the only things keeping them out. Aha, uh -huh. interesting. <laughs> yep, hey, that's, Calico, you watching? <laughs> that's, that's definitely an oops. Did Sam oh, rival them? The AI. I, ca, I, Sam's back, isn't it? Yeah, Sam's back. Did Sam so lose connection, or did he just not join in the first place? He DC'd because um, uh, his FPS was going nutty, but gotcha. he only just did this because Helson only just said it. Gotcha. I mean, one second, though. Uh, yeah, have fun with that. That is going to be interesting. We'll need to watch that one. So, chat, if you see... So, Morgan, France I don't fighting. know if you noticed this, but uh, France may have made it, just made a big mistake. Yeah, I, I noticed. That guy was oh. just in here saying, hey, look at France's uh, coalition map mode. He broke his alliance with me and instantly <laughs> the coalition board. That's kind of hilarious. I mean, France has been very aggro and very expansionist, and ordinarily the HRE Emperor would have stopped him doing that, but... He didn't have that limitation, I guess. So, yeah, it was like, we were like, it's like, they were everybody with my channel was like, you know what, you should break your alliance. We just want to see what happens, right? And <laughs> instantly, he, he rivaled me. I'm like, huh, well, interesting. Calico didn't say anything about that. And we looked at the, we went instantly to that. Did you see Burgundy break free? Mm -hmm. So, I don't know what happened, uh, but Sam seems like uh, he's going <laughs> to screw Calico over. <laughs> Yeah, things are definitely going to take a downturn here. So, uh, phase two of Fortress Ottomans is almost complete. Chief Code Red just messaged. Okay, so we've got Bohemia coming in. We've got Poland also joining right now. Yeah, and speaking of which, like Poland's southern province to Bohemia. Yeah, I thought that was 
Brandenburg selling the land he took from Saxony to Bohemia or something? Oh, I don't know. No, it was it's it's actually straight up one of the starting provinces for Poland. He sold to him for some reason. And now are Poland, they at war? Poland was massively in debt. That's why. Is who at war? Is Poland and Bohemian at war? Because Bohemia. No. Oh, is that Anhalt? Because he sieged out and it's pink, so. Or maybe they are. I can't tell until Fizzbiz, I guess, gets in because I don't have my player map mode. Well, I do, but he's not a player right now. So maybe they are. The only player oh, there right you go. is Florence. Uh, Poland. Poland is not at war, no. No, he's at war with Bantua, Nuremberg, Grand Hot, Livonian Order, and Magburg. So. Alright, so Val broke the rules because he brought Bohemia into an offensive war when Bohemia wasn't here. Yes, he did. Um, I never know what to do in these situations, but yes, he did break the rules. I'll go and yell at him. All right, have fun. I'll get to watch it on the vid. <laughs> All right, where's Val? Let's go and moan. But they joined before. I hey, Val. Did you bring, bring Bohemia uh, into a player war? Into a war? They're not protected, right? That's true. They are not protected. Player. Nope, that's absolutely yeah. fine. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, that's true. Have okay, fun. No mind. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, anyway. no rules broken. We're, we're cool. Yep, they're not protected because Bohemia's not been here for two weeks running. So that is totally fine. Even though Bohemia is on his way into the game right now, he was not here at the time. England has the Balearic Islands. Yes, he does, because if you look at England's goals, I believe that was one of his goals. No, Balearics weren't an England goal. Oh, I think that's just so he has a stepping stone to get Gibraltar and or Malta. Basically, England just wanted some Mediterranean ports. England's being England. He wants naval bases. And I think that's because England helped Genoa against Aragon, I think. I'm trying to remember exactly what went on there. So, still no war with France being involved. I'm a little bit surprised, seeing the crazy extent of that coalition. Milan, Bavaria... Oh, man, there are some big countries here. That's going to be a real problem for him. How's his manpower? 24,000. Who are his allies? France is allied to Denmark, England, and Florence. I mean, England should be okay simply on the benefit of their fleet, and most of the people that are up against France here are not naval. It would just be Burgundy. Now, did Burgundy get split out by England? Who created Burgundy? No, I think he... Did you feed him? England has a claim. England doesn't have any more money. Are you building anything? Core creations, Mallorca and Minorca. I'm not sure entirely what happened there. Okay, so we've got Chief Code Red on the way in as well. So Fizzbiz gets in Chief are both here. So let me just go and update my player map, player thingy. So Chief Code is here. As is Poland. Okay. In fact, let me just do, 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 do. Copy paste. And this is from the 23rd. I try to keep my notes separate so I can see exactly what's happened during a session. So this is Poland and Bohemia. Okay, so now it's just Naples, Mamluks, and Hungary, which are not protected. 